The UN Development Assistance Framework process started in Kenya around June 2017. It was a protracted, multi-stakeholder, multi-dimensional process. This was not just a UN process, this was a government of Kenya-led process which brought together a variety of stakeholders from civil society to other UN agencies, to non-governmental organizations, to the private sector, but essentially led by the government. Through this framework, the UN in Kenya will in the next five years support the government of Kenya towards the realization of Kenya's Vision 2030, the Medium Term Plan 3, the government of Kenya's Big Four transformative agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. This support will help the government to accelerate the country's economic transformation, contributing to an empowered, productive and healthy nation. The UNDA framework has gone a long way in ensuring that uh, we are able to uh, work together in terms of framing our national priorities, fitting uh, very well with the, with the, with the UNDA uh, that uh, is currently based on our MTP3. So, uh, so far, uh, I think we must thank uh, the UN country team uh, led by uh, the resident coordinator SEED whom we worked very closely with uh, my colleague, who is a co-chair uh, of UNDAF, uh, the CS in charge of our national treasury. Through transformative governance, the UN focuses on respect for the rule of law, improved security and effective implementation of devolution for a peaceful, secure, cohesive, equitable and prosperous Kenya. The Council's Special Plan gives framework how the account should look for 10 years but then in that there are strategies on environment agriculture population transport so what we are trying to do in the GS lab is to make sure that when environment guys or environment department comes to the GS lab they don't have to see all these uh, output of the account special plan they're interested in that environment aspect so we can now retrieve this information edit it to fit to their need and then make sure that it is good visualized for their understanding and they can use that for planning and decision making. To promote peace and sustainable development, the UN has supported cross-border initiatives that aim to transform the lives of communities who historically have been marginalized. The UN has a spirit of leaving no one behind. We want to ensure that uh, marginalization ends in our country and equalization uh, it comes in and uh, we are able to uh, develop every part of our country. Recently, we went to Uganda on the 12th of September to now start a second cross-border program between uh, the Pokot, the Turkana and the Karmajong of Uganda. That is the Moroto uh, area. Uh, we are happy that we are making progress there and uh, we also want to look at the other borderlands so that we see how we can, instead of having cross-border conflict, we have increased cross-border trade and integration of uh, these uh, communities. Sisi tutafanya lorote tuwezavyo kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumelete haya maendeleo amba itaguza maisha ya mwanainchi wa kawaida wa Kenya na Uganda. If you don't trade, you cannot create wealth. If you do not move, you cannot create wealth. And if you don't create wealth, all you are doing is institutionalizing poverty. And we want to eliminate poverty. Inclusivity and mainstreaming a human rights approach to development, ensuring no one is left behind, remains a critical component of the work of the UN in Kenya. In the, we are very happy uh, in, uh, because of the 2019 census uh, because we, for the first time, we persons with albinism uh, have actually been counted. And this has been a journey that started way back in 2009, when we petitioned Parliament as the Albinism Society of Kenya to uh, have us counted. To support human capital development, the UN supports various initiatives to ensure that all people in Kenya, especially the most vulnerable, are educated, protected, empowered, healthy, well-nourished, have access to clean water and sanitation, and live in decent homes within resilient communities. 
In order to provide age and gender appropriate services, that's why the child-friendly space was established. These children come from different countries. We serve children majorly from South Sudan. We have children from Congo, Burundi, um, Ethiopia, and also Eritrea, who actually some are unaccompanied minors. We have separated children, and we also have other vulnerables, and uh, including persons with disability. This is not a school. It is a child-friendly space. But with the young ones, it gives them actually an advantage because by the time they are joining school, at least they are at a certain level. They have known even colors. They have known how to count. My name is Ajoy Kisotu, a student at Vocational Training Center, currently doing a course in engineering. I decided to take the course because I can be my own boss. I would like to be the first lady or the best lady in Maasai as an engineer. I would like to come back and help my family. While working towards the realisation of universal health coverage, the UN supports the national and county governments to scale up and strengthen policy, legal and institutional frameworks to ensure efficiency and effectiveness in the provision of quality health services delivery. We are currently uh, on the journey of realisation of universal health coverage as a country. The policies that we have developed with the support and in partnership with the the UN agencies give us the blueprint that we utilize actually for UHC pilot level, but it also gives us a very useful instrument, the monitoring and evaluation framework, which has continued to then help us monitor and pick lessons during this pilot phase. In the work we are doing in community, if there is a postnatal mother, we refer. And we teach them also about the uh, danger sign of the pregnancy and then danger sign of uh, postnatal. If there is any case we occur, we refer the mother immediately to the hospital. As yangu haba, yangu sindihisa wa mama, anataka kuchikungua. Mama kwa moka, anakufa wengi, usari kuchifungule nyumbani. Mama tamu natoka nyingi, ile nyumba mtoto narara, awesi kutoka. Ukika ukati, mama taenda na mtoto ataenda. Chichana watogo, kama wameka kumina ina, wameka kumina kano, pana chika mimba hiko sureni, pana kucha kwangu, pana suche koko, koko, nasema ya ya. Na wasasi, pana chua, awesi kuchua, watanyi bukusa. Ina pareta hapa. Na barusi hivi natakaji. Taka ni kubereke hospitali. Wendu pimo, kila gitu, pirusi, kila gitu, tolewa tamu. Kwe kwa chancho. Wakati nilikuwa mimba, sifu mada ili nisaidia. Kamileta hospitali. Nika, nika fanyua teksti. Nika, nikiwa kina mwezi, minaza kuja kini. Kutoka hapo, sifu mada ili kuna nifatilia mba. Awa. To address the challenges and chronic crises associated with droughts, disease outbreaks and insecurity, the UN has supported various initiatives across different counties. People from here, host Trukana, they did not know how to, how to have gardens. But because drought swept away the animals, so this is an alternative way of a source of life. We plant cowpeas and also there is a spinach here, also there is okra, even skuma wiki you can get here. This is the food they eat almost every day. So uh, this uh, garden has helped them to change uh, their, their diet. As they sell out, they buy other foods, and also because of this farming, some small money will help even their children for school 
and medication. While supporting the Big Four agenda of the government of Kenya on housing, the UN is strengthening the capacity of the national and county governments to develop and implement sustainable housing policies. As a result, social physical infrastructures improve access to quality, affordable and adequate housing with a focus on informal settlements and slum upgrading. Through the UN, we have attracted uh, other key international uh, stakeholders. It has been a catalyst to bring forward all these global partners. And because of that, the impact has even been more significant. The biggest program we are doing right now, which is in uh, Ad River, uh, it is through this program of UNOPS. They have committed to do uh, at least 100,000 houses. And it has given uh, a very big boost to the president's, you know, uh, big four agenda in particular housing. To promote inclusive and sustainable economic growth, the UN strengthens human and institutional capacities along the productive sectors of the value chains, such as the service sector, agriculture, manufacturing and the blue economy. By providing support to those sectors, they employ and directly support marginalised vulnerable groups, including women and youth. Ile kilimo ilikuwa ya zamani ukilima na ngombe inavaa uwe tuseme kama uko na watu kama watatu wa kupanda wa kushika hiyo hiyo plow na na mmoja wa kunini wa, wa kuelekeza hizo ngombe na sasa ukiwa na hii ni kuamka asubuhi uko peke yako ni kuamka asubuhi unalima tu tuseme kama nusueka unamaliza na hiyo ina save time ina save money Kwanza mimi ni mkulima wa mtama Kwanza nilikuwa napata tu gunia tatu hivi hivi lakini nikitumia siya imeenda juu mpaka gunia nane kwa yaka moja. Kabla hiyo NDP ilikuja na endea mie. Maisha yetu ilikuwa ni ile maisha tofauti na ya sai. Tukua hata tunapata chakula. Tukua tunakusa hiyo mboka tupate pesa ama tupate chakula ya ukula nyumbani. Juzi UNDP na Ndiomye kwa walitichimbia ball na sola. Manufa ya hii ya hii ball kama sisi ata community hapa tutapata maji ya kwa sani hiyo. Ya pili uh, mifugo yetu tapata maji, takuwa inapata maji hapa. Alapu pia mimea yetu ambaye Muradi wenyewe, ambao sasa ni fish farming, si tumeona ni kitu kubwa. Shimo moja, inaweza kupatikana wanyama ama samaki zaidi ya tani hata kuanzia sita kuendelea mbele. Kwa kusema kweli, hiki kisiwa hata badala ya kungangana na mambo ya ngombe wala nini. He blue economy na fikiria inaweza kutufanya vizuri sana. Kama hile mali ya mwe kupale ndani, ni hii tuwa mba utumetu hapa kwa kriki. Tunataka tuongezi haya madimbwi, ili ikifikia kama madimbwi kama kumi, maisha yetu ya takuwa mazuri sana. Tukifika hapa kwa madimbwi, tukiyuguza hiyo mali ya mba yuko kwa hiyo madimbwi, kama ni watoto kusoma, watasoma, kama watoto yukula, watakula. Mimi ni mkulima wa nyuki. Nilianza kufuga nyuki kitambo na mizinga hii ya kienyeji. Ambayo ilikuwa ilatupatia asali, lakini ilikuwa ilatupatia asali ambayo ni bora. So, ikawa tuwezi pata asali ambayo na zamiki, market ya, ya 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 kitaifa ama hata ya kimataifa lakini nashukuru wakati mmoja tukakutana na ofisa wa livestock wakati nauza asali yangu so waka akaiangalia kwanza alinunua chupa na akaniambia jinsi ya kuweza kuboresha hii asali ni kuingia katika ufugaji wa nyuki wa kisasa kamuuliza kwani ufugaji wa nyuki wa kisasa uko na mlaga na kwambia kuna mizinga ya kisasa ambayo ni, ni aina inaweza kupatia asali bora ambayo inaweza kuwezesha kuuza hata kimataifa 
Wale wa mabwana wakaja wakatupatia mizinga 20 kama kiku kama kikundi. Na tulipopata ile mizinga tukaiweka ilivoingia nyu kitu tuliona tofauti kubwa ya ile asali ambayo tumevuna kwa ile mizinga ya, 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 ya kisasa na ile ambayo tulikuwa tunavuna ya kienyeji. Ile mizinga ya, ya kisasa tulipata asali piwa kwa sababu ile mizinga iko na chamba mbili. Kuna na mavuno yetu yalifanya nini? Yali double kutoka wakati ule. Tangu ilikuwa sasa kama nilikuwa na mizinga yangu tu kama mizinga 4 sita hivi ya kienyeji. So ilikuwa ile asali nyingi ninapata labda ni kilo 40. Hiyo ndio nimepata nyingi zaidi. Nikishauza hiyo ni basi. Lakini mizinga tulivyokuwa introduce na watu wa serikali na hawa FAO nilivuna zaidi ya kilo 200 kando na zile kilo 40 nilikuwa ninapata. I have seen the work which has happened in the northeastern counties. I worked there as UNFPA where together with the government of Kenya, the UN system, WHO, UNICEF, uh, UNFPA, together with the private sector, six companies joined actually Safaricom, Huawei, Kenya Healthcare Federation, Merck, Philips and 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 basically in a matter of 3 years we were able to reduce maternal mortality ratios in counties like Mandera, Wajir, Marsabit, Namu, Isiolo, Garissa nobody thought it was ever possible but here the leadership of the of the first lady of Kenya has been crucial you know she actually created an ecosystem of change she brought the issue of maternal health and public health from the periphery of people's consciousness right into the center of public policy and that is why the country is making progress